Okay, so first we will start off. I clicked the fall 22, spring 23 housing application. You will see that your application is complete because you did fill out your first housing application and then you will click continue. So you're at the point where you completed the application last and then you will save and continue and move on to room selection. It's important to remember that you should check your roommate search and selection before you begin to ensure that you are linked with another roommate if you would like to have a roommate through the portal. We can go back to the room selection part and we see all the available communities. So I'm gonna select the quad for my roommate and I. I have the earlier time slot, so I will select the room for the both of us. I want to see Owen Hall because that is my choice of living. So you can look over on this filter list and if you know which hall you'd like to live in, make sure you select it just to make it more efficient and you'll be able to find your options quicker. So I want to live in 108A and there is a 108B for my roommate as well. So I'm gonna add to cart my room and her room and then we will save and continue. You have to add both rooms for you and the roommate and you and the roommate should be connected in this portion as well. So now we can assign the beds. I will be in A, Chloe will be in B. And I'll assign the beds to the both of us. So now we see confirmation. So please confirm this room assignment. So right now it's not confirmed yet. We have to save and continue to hold this space. Now we're at the assignment confirmation prepayment. So you must pay that before May 1st or your room will be dropped. Here's my booking summary. So I can tell that I'm in Owen 108A and Chloe is in Owen 108B. So now we're at the shopping cart. Um, for all of you, when you get to this portion in your room selection, you will see a payment um, portion of it. So you'll be able to pay that $200 fee that is due before May 1st. Um, you can pay it the day of room selection or you can go back in a week or two later and pay it. As long as you pay it before May 1st, your room will not be dropped and it will be saved for you. Um, so that concludes our room selection process. And of course, if you ever have any questions, please give our office a call.